All right, welcome back to uh, bag three of the build log. Uh, yeah, so this is bag three, which is the first floor, or at least part of the first floor. So all these lovely parts spread out, that's two sets worth, ready to go on bag three. And here we have bag three finished, which is the entire second level. Uh, very simple expansion on this one. From the outside, you can see I've just added two window sections. Now they're pretty much eight wide, if you include the uh, the four wide window frame, plus some of the, the bricks either side. So you can see, you know, two, and then the four windows, sorry, then the four wide window, and then the two wide, which is half of that wall, and that just gets multiplied, you know, four times throughout. And in the original plans, it's only two, uh, so that was nice and easy. Being a 16 stud uh, wider build than normal, that was quite easy to do. Uh, see, on the outside, that's about it. Uh, moving on the inside, there's obviously a lot more space now to add some extra gym equipment. So the punching bag is as it was. Uh, I had considered adding another one, but it looked really horrible poking through uh, the back there, I still may add it, oh, I'm tossing and turning, so we'll see what we uh, what we do there. Uh, the space between the boxing ring and the bags, I'm going to build a squat rack. So anyone who's familiar with gym work or anything like that knows what that means, and it'll be obvious once it's done. Uh, yeah, just to get there, you know, some leg work happening, you know, never skip leg day in the gym. Uh, I've also put uh, two bench press uh, machines in there. So because I've got two sets, it was pretty easy to build the extra one and throw it in. And the dumbbell rack is over by the door as well. Uh, not sure what to add into this corner. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some stretch mats, you know, like sort of like those red ones, but or, or yoga mats even. Or I might just, uh, you know, pose some guys doing some shadow boxing or something like that. Uh, but that's the second floor done. Something I absolutely loved was the spiral staircase. How that went together, that was just fantastic. Yeah, re really, really impressed with that. And it looks quite good. Sorry, it might be hard to see, you know, with the black parts, but there we go. Good look there. And there's that sort of ugly bit that sticks out for the punching bag sort of stand, and that would have been poking out there. Being that this is an alleyway, maybe I will sort of allow that and have it poke through. I'll, I'll put it back there later and see how it looks, but for now, that's the second floor done. Uh, there's only bag four and five to go, so I'm assuming that's the entire third floor as well as uh, the roof. So, yeah, um, once again, plenty of spare parts. Uh, funnily enough, I actually had to go to my own parts collection to get some 1x4 tan uh, bricks just to make up these wall parts here as well as some one by two tan tiles I was too short so I had plenty of the uh, of the one by ones but yeah too short on that which means I'll probably be too short on the next bag too but anyway it's the second floor done and yeah we'll do the other bags um, tomorrow sorry guys this is actually two days later I had a bit of a slack day in between uh, but I finished the top floor and the roof. Uh, the roof was relatively easy once I uh, figured out exactly sort of what was getting wider and what wasn't. Uh, with the top floor though, a few little challenges popped up. The, the fascia tiles here were a bit of a pest actually, and I did swap it around a few times. Uh, to start with, I had the indentation starting here, with the second window back and then the door. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of didn't work out how I wanted to. And I also realized that that was a bit of a waste of the interior space, cutting that extra bit out. And so yeah, I've gone with the same single window indentation, just like the instructions with that little balcony. Uh, so I think that uh, is gonna work out a lot better for me. And heading inside, so this is sort of that uh, music studio, I guess. 
Uh, the recording center is basically the same. I threw in an extra chair and I took away the windows at the back there because I figured, you know, when you're recording things and you don't want, you know, too much sound coming in through the glass and all that sort of stuff. And just to break up the, the back of the building a bit more and make it look a bit, you know, a bit different. So, yeah, that's what I've done there. Uh, we've made the furniture in the middle there. So now the, the drink stuff sort of station is over uh, by the by the recording studio with an extra mat on the ground. And the this is actually going to have four chairs. I've already jumped on BrickLink and placed my order for extra parts to get this place going. As you can see, I didn't have enough tiles to finish the extra uh, rug on the floor. I guess that's what it's meant to be uh, by the door. I'm also thinking I may put a slightly different pattern for that light blue area on all the rugs. So I'll have a bit of a play with that when the time comes. Uh, thinking... I've got a little music sheet tile floating in my collection somewhere that I'm going to hang up there. So once I find that, uh, we'll put that in. Uh, yeah, but other than that, yeah, just a few extra sort of chairs where the musicians and executives and whoever can discuss their contracts and whatever music people talk about, money probably. So <laughs> that'll be what that's for. Uh, yeah, the roof, just quickly on that, I've got the two skylights. I did originally try three, but it was just too flimsy for my liking. And yeah, other than that, it's pretty much the same. The 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 sort of decorative top part at the front here is three sections wide now instead of just the one. Uh, again, that was dictated by the balcony being that same short size. So yeah, it wasn't too hard. To get that done and i've just done a few extra tiling patterns on there just to make it look a bit more random and yeah so that's about it for the building uh, once all my parts come in i'll put them in and do a final sort of look at all that uh when that's all ready to go and then we've got the real bonus of that fifth bag which i totally forgot you could build the extra little car so yeah, I totally forgot that was in the set until I got to it and went, wow, that's a bonus. So yeah, I got two of them out of it. That's nice. And the minifigures here. So at the moment, there's two of everything. I think the chef is actually inside still cooking up a storm. There he is. So I'm going to alter some of the faces on this. And you know, you can see that gym lady is sort of sweating it up on that one. So that's good. I'll probably change her hair color or something. And that'll be enough of a variation for her. And I'll mix up the boxes. I'll change the face and the shorts maybe to red, you know, red versus blue kind of thing. And yeah, the others, I don't know what I'll do with two mu musicians, but I'll, I'll figure something out. And the waitresses, that'll be easy to swap around some parts on that. So yeah, that's the downtown diner build log pretty much done. And yeah, the next time you see this thing, it'll be when it's completely finished and we'll go in depth through all the changes and how it f how it's sort of finalized with the look and putting it in the city into that second modular area which yeah i'm sort of keen to get done and as for spares that's what we've got so a big mess of parts in the middle and then a whole heap of tiles and jumpers and things that i always sort of separate out because especially in gray they come in handy and the bricks lots of teal yeah, still don't know what I'm going to do with all that stuff, but yeah, might come up handy one day. And just a few little knickknacks and extra builds that might be useful. Actually, you can see there the light fixtures, uh, which normally go along the front. I haven't included them on the build because in my city I've decided that all the lamp posts will be sort of outside the modulars, closer to the road, uh, making up the footpath and everything I'm going to do there. It's going to be a bit more decorative and... And different so yeah that's where we are uh, thanks for having a look at this sort of different style of of log that I haven't really done before so I might try it for the next building I do uh, which is probably the Parisian restaurant so yeah stay tuned for that and um, thanks again